American Idol last night. They they were in San Diego and off oh, just beaming with pride the whole time. Every, every commercial break in and out, they'd show a city, uh, you know, pictures of the skyline in the midway. And I was just like, I live there. Yes, that's our city. The time and the money and the attention, the love that we put into our community, that's where our heart will be. San Diego, the city, reflects who we are and what we want it to be. And one of the great local organizations that acts as a mirror, if you will, the group that reflects and amplifies who we are is the San Diego Foundation. And right now we're going to talk with Lori Filer from the San Diego Foundation. Good morning, Lori. How are you? I'm doing great. How about you? Doing fantastic. And I uh, appreciate you being here. Tell us, I want to talk about the, the survey that you guys have now. Uh, show your love, San Diego. But first, let's go right to the beginning. What is the San Diego Foundation? Well, the San Diego Foundation is a, a place where people can change the quality of life in this region through philanthropy. How, so how do people do that? Well, you contribute money. You decide where it should go. Who do you want to help? What kind of, uh, what kind of efforts do you want to support? So do people just donate money or do people come to you with ideas on, on philanthropy? People come with ideas. People see what is in the region. They see where there are needs and they can come to the San Diego Foundation and help define those needs and find the organizations that can make an impact. Okay, give us an example of a, like a, a philanthrop, philanthropic, a philanthropic uh, example. Like how, how, give us an example of how this would work. Oh, so, so, some, so for instance, Matt McLaughlin who lives in North County, um, just passed away recently, and he knows that he wants to help North County cities. And so you have some charitable foundations in Escondido, Carlsbad, Forest Ranch, and they have been giving money to um, arts and culture, the environment. They have decided what, where do we have needs in our community, and Matt McLaughlin has given money to help support those efforts. So do, is Matt McLaughlin in charge of the the organization or is he in charge? Is he just giving money to it? He gave money. He saw that there's, there are needs in North County and he also realized that there's a lot of people in North County who understand what those needs are. And so he has this great faith in those community organizations to say, where are we going to, you know, where, where do we need to put the dollars? Mm -hmm. You know, one year it was on fitness. So we had a lot of programs helping um, students understand why they need become fit and so that's that's a choice that the community made matt matt mclaughlin put those dollars and made them available again i said that san diego foundation it's it's a mirror it, it reflects yeah. what's important yeah. and, and amplifies yeah. what we want it to be um in, in yeah. 35 years you guys have given uh granted 750 million dollars to nonprofit organizations where, where do you get that money um where do, from all over the region there's people who care People who care and, and know and they're, they're engaged, they have this conversation with the community, they believe in what we have in San Diego. Just like you were talking earlier, when we see the skyline, we live here. When So, so I just want to be clear about uh, the people listening, how they can help you. They can help by, by giving money, uh, but also yeah. if they have an idea for something, that uh, for a need, they can come to you, right? And how can you help them uh, if someone sees a need, whatever that is? How can you help them? Well, uh, the foundation has so much experience with the nonprofits in the community. They know who are, they can help a person understand where their dollars should go, which mm. which organization it will most match their needs and, and maybe you know, their, their, their ideas. And maybe start a new one if the, if the need's not. If they have to, that's right. Yeah. If you have to, you start a new one. But, there, but there's a lot of resources in San Diego County, lots of people doing some amazing things. Great. And, and tell us about the scholarship program, too. That's one of my favorite aspects. Oh, yes. Um, so there's, um, the, I think they give more scholarships than um, they are a repository for, if I want to give money to a scholarship, I can bring it to the San Diego Foundation. And there's this whole structure of what, how students apply, how they present themselves, and a review committee. And, and so uh, there's just a great sophisticated structure that helps students. And they don't remember how many scholarships, but there's lots and lots of scholarships. That's great. And, and um, I'm looking at the website now. You guys have so much information there. If anyone has any yeah. uh, in inspiration to, to help give uh, San Diego Foundation, it's a great place to do that, sdfoundation.com. But you guys are uh, involved with a, a, a different uh, uh, pro project right now. Very excited about it. Uh, it's called Show Your Love SD. What's going on here? All right, and so that's the next. When you talk about people can come together with ideas, and the foundation is a gathering of, of money, 
this, the showyourlovesd.org, is really an opportunity for us to say, what are our values in San Diego County? What's important to us? And so we want to hear from the community. So we want to have some community engagement, some civic engagement, and, and a conversation. The, how did you come up with the four different questionnaires? Uh, how mm-hmm. did you come up with the questions? How did, you, how did you even start? Because that's quite a vision. That's quite a, quite a project you guys have decided to undertake. So how did you cut this down to, to a sizable um, or a manageable size? Yes, and other regions have engaged in a regional vision as well, and they only tackled one thing, but we think that we're special in San Diego. And so we tackled, when we talked to people, we did a survey over a year ago, and we asked people what are the most important issues in the region. And the people said it was housing affordability, um, jobs, which everyone is about jobs, and education. Mm. And so we recognize that there are going to be 1.3 million more people in this region in the next 50 years most of it from our children and grandchildren. So if we want to leave a legacy, if we want to leave a great quality of life, then we're going to have to deal with those issues of where are the people, where are we all going to live, what kind of housing are we going to have, and is it going to be affordable, and what kind of education will our children have so that they can compete in a global economy. So, so there, that's how we ended up with those four different subjects. Yeah, so, so let's say uh, as the results come in um, and, and people are going to say, okay, I want more affordable housing, obviously. What's, mm-hmm. what's next? What are you guys going to do with that information? So we will share it with, so for that issue, we will share that with local government. And we can do some research and so that we can talk about uh, what kind of housing do people want, what's the market, what is the market preference. And we can also do some research and say, um, if you build this kind of housing in this area, will you end up with the right amount of housing in the right mix? So then local agencies, local governments, local cities can use that when they're working on their own general plan. Because we have no authority to tell a city what to do, but we can provide support and we can share what the people's preferences are. Beautiful. What uh, what have you guys seen by the results so far? We haven't seen any results. Our choosing, we want everyone to go to showyourlovesd.org uh, until January 31st. Okay. And uh, we haven't, we haven't, looked. we know that we have over 14,000 people that have participated already. Uh, we're trying to get, you know, well over 20,000. Louisiana got 23,000 people to participate, and I know San Diego County can do better. Come on, than we that. can beat Louisiana. They we got can nothing. Beat Louisiana. Yeah, <laughs> I think we have to do that. What is, what is your board expecting from this? What, what was, did you guys have a, uh, an, any expectation on, on what the results might be? Or, you know, you know what I'm trying to say? What, what, was, the, what was the ultimate yeah. vision for what you were doing? Um, we, we expect uh, that people are, if they have information, we try to present some information as well, that if people have some information, they will make good choices about what we want. So, for instance, in the education, is it important to have early childhood education so that we can have good competition? You know, is early childhood education have anything to do with our ability to go to college and be able to compete globally? Um, if you have economics if we need jobs, we have three sectors today. Do we need a fourth sector? Mm. You know, we have high tech, military, and tourism. Do we need a fourth sector? And if you provide that information, we expect people will make some good, sophisticated choices, and then we'll be able to use that information. All right, I think this is great. What's the uh, website people can take this survey? And how long does it take uh, each one? I've only taken two. How, how long do they all take? How long did it take you for those two? Not a 10, 15 minutes, right? I mean, if you, if you sort of you roll yeah. right through it, not too long. Yeah, not too long. So probably about five or ten minutes for each one. Yeah. So, and you get faster as you go along. So it ends up taking about 20 or 25 minutes to do all four. But we'd really love people to participate even in one and then be inspired to continue and, and try the other. Yeah, and I think they're a good thing to do with your kids, too. And it can uh, start yeah. some good conversation with your kids. So it could be yeah. a sort of a family event at night uh, instead of watching yeah. uh, stupid TV. Uh, Lori, can't thank you enough for your time. Again, the website one more time. Uh- ShowYourLoveSD.org. Awesome. Lori, thanks so much. I appreciate right. you. Hey. Give my best Thank to uh, everyone back at the uh, SD Foundation. You guys are doing great work. Again, only 14,000. I think o- I'd say only 14,000 people have taken this so far. I mean, we don't know who those 14,000 people are. What we need are 30,000 Slater Crusaders to take this survey so that your voice can be heard, so that the vision of San Diego can reflect you and your preferences and what you think is important, as opposed to people who want to ban fireworks and, and you know, whatever, want SEALs to take over the, the, the city.
So show your love. SD.org is the website. Again, a Slater Crusader has three D's. There's a three D test to be a Slater Crusader. Do you demonstrate personal responsibility? Are you devoted to the greatest country in the world? And probably the one that I think is most important. Are you dedicated to making San Diego and California a better place to live? It's a great way to do it. Show your love. SD.org. Coming up next. How did Newt Gingrich win South Carolina? I got my theory. See what you think about it next. Mike Slater Show. 760 KFMB. Spread the word.